this is not a throwing shit at the wall simulator. I really enjoy playing this game, so I recommended it to a friend of mine who has kids of his own. He actually tried to get them into coding and he thought this could be a nice way to get them interested in that. So he bought them the game and then he showed me a bit of code that they produced. Let me share that with you. The level in question is as simple as this. The goal is for us to make the people walk down, pick up the data cubes and set them down on this line just above this hole. For that we have this simple piece of code. Simply step down, try picking up the data cube, check if under you there is a hole, in which case you drop the data cube and repeat this whole process over again. This takes only five commands and as you see the people start to complain that they have nothing to pick up, which is fine in case we are trying to optimize it in the number of commands department. So we're going for the optional size challenge. As you see the challenge is completed and the level doesn't really care that we've killed all the people. Simple as that. You might want to try doing this a little more efficiently in regards to time. Essentially you do the exact same thing but you check for data cubes and not try to pick up unless you are standing on one and then you only check for holes once you've done that. But again all people die which is completely fine. Let's take a look at this code. The execution of it is a little faster but again we are not interested in saving their lives. And this took 6 seconds out of the desired 6. Now there's a third way of doing this and I'm going to show you just now. Remember when playing this game at this stage you might want to know how to use the jump command because that's how you create loops in your code so that you don't have to repeat the commands. For the loops an if statement is just as necessary. The code I received from my friend claiming that his kids wrote this is this. I should probably let this sink in but it's 15 commands and at the first glance this can't absolutely work. There is no way in hell this works. Let's just run it shall we? The people walk down, sometimes they try to pick up the cubes, they can't, they wiggle from left to right, they step in each other's ways and somehow in the end they all set down the data cubes down without dying. How is this possible? So we've got 15 out of 5 commands and it takes 13 seconds, ideally it would take 6. I would like to go through these commands and try and explain how this whole thing works. There's one crucial part in this. I have to understand it and I don't. <laughs> really I think they just use this game as a throwing shit at the wall simulator. Sometimes it's gonna stick. This is just the same thing. If you throw enough random commands on this at some point you're gonna brute force it and just make it happen. It reminds me of myself when I started learning how to code. All the loops and the if statements were just too difficult to handle and all I had to do is make some tests pass, right? Just complete an assignment. So this is exactly what you do if you just don't know how else you would do it. The deadline is really close and you know you have to do it somehow and no one really cares how just that it's done so you do this sacrilege. Anyway step after step, step down makes sense, another step down, sure. Now obviously some people have encountered data cubes so they do need to pick them up. So far so good. Now as you see some people kept complaining that they have nothing to pick up which caused them an action and now they are behind. And the other people who have picked up the cubes have stepped... what? Okay, I think I'm wrong, let's just take it from the top again. Step, step, pick up. Oh, I see, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I was right actually. So the people who have picked up the cubes have already stepped down to the bottom left 
and the other people were still complaining. Now these people try and pick up and the other people try and step to the bottom left. And again they form a line. That's the crucial thing here. Now this person should be able to pick up and we indeed have a pickup statement. In the meantime these are complaining that they have nothing to pick up again. So they then can step down and to the right, which they have done, and the others are still complaining. Now these should step down and to the right, while the others still complain. Now they should pick up, nothing to pick up, now these step right, okay I'm lost already. Well it seems that they sort of shimmy down and try to line up the people without the data cubes with the data cubes, and the others just move out of the way and they are held back by complaining that they don't have anything to pick up. Right, now I just don't know what's happening anymore. I, I don't really think there is a way to understand this or that you should understand this. This is just something random you come up with when not being able to produce any jumps or if statements. That's all you can do, so you sort of iterate and you know add some steps every so often i guess i mean if anyone of you understands it do let me know because i'm quite interested that being said i don't even think you should waste your time on trying to understand this oh you know what will help i know i'm gonna add some comments to explain this i think that this whole program now makes complete sense <laughs>